Hello Internet, this is Mobile OS Freedom from Twitter, and today I'm going to show you Android 4.0.1 Ice Cream Sandwich running on my Windows PC via VirtualBox. And as you can see, I have the file already downloaded and the settings changed, so I'm just going to start it and ignore every message that pops up. Okay. Starting. And. It'll auto boot by itself. Ignore this. Error. And it'll do all this. Another message. Ignore. It'll do this for a few seconds. So, then you get to the Android boot logo. And it'll do this for just a while. Just wait till it finishes. I modified the settings of this file to give the VM more RAM and video RAM as well, so it'll run a lot smoother if you do that. Otherwise, if you download this file and try to run it yourself, um, it'll lag quite a bit. Okay, and now we're on the home screen, and just unlock it. The lock screen always lags a lot. And we're in this ice cream sandwich home screens. And as you can see, you can scroll between the home screens. And I have custom app shortcuts already set up. So, and one thing to note though is that if you do run this, sometimes I'm not sure why, but sometimes the VM won't capture your mouse correctly, so you can't access any buttons on the corners as you can see there. So you can't access the soft keys such as those down there, like the back menu at home, or the app tray button. And let's see, we like we can go into browser. See what it looks like. And this is the stock ice cream sandwich browser. Let's try to go to a web page in it. Let's try to go to iOS Freedom. See what it looks like an ice cream sandwich, just for fun. And it's loading. Usually isn't this slow, I'm not sure what's going on with my internet today. My Wi Fi. And while that's holding, we can open new tabs, see what else there is. And okay, looks pretty decent on here, although not sure why we would go to this on Ice Cream Sandwich. And let's just cl close out of the browser, see what else there is. We can go into settings. Oops. Go into settings. And as you can see, here's the data usage stats. Don't really work because this is a PC. Okay. And since I can't move my mouse to the very bottom of the screen, I have to click on one of the options to get to get to about phone, and then use my arrow keys and then enter to get to it. And as you can see, this is Android version 4.0.1. And let's see what else there is. Um, accounts and sync. Um, you can sync your email accounts and whatnot with this. And once you turn off the VM, um, your your settings will still be saved. So it's a pretty neat feature. And since you cannot access the soft back button um, on my PC, at least the back button is mapped to the escape key. So just press the escape key, and you should be back. And you can do a, you can do a long press to access, whoops, you can do a long press to access gallery and wallpapers, change the wallpapers, and you can drag widgets around, whatnot, there's that, oh, invisible clock widget, there's this power widget, and that's pretty much all there is in this build, so I'll see you in another video.